What's up guys? It's Mike again. <laughs> so I get a lot of messages and whatnot. Some of my local people, they watch my YouTube channel uh, you know, just because they support the local guy. But I get a lot of a day in the life of. I should show what a day in the life of Mike Foster pertains to. Well, I don't know how most YouTubers do it, or how do you record your everyday life? I don't know, to me it feels like my everyday life is boring. Like This is what I do, I work, work on junk. Sometimes every once in a while we get something nice, uh, it's clean and new, uh, instead of something that's been stuck in the mud for six months and they finally need some brakes put on it or your transmission, you gotta peel out eight months worth of caked on mud because the bean field is too wet to work and they just now, they need the truck immediately. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I don't know, I'll give it a shot. Um, probably like an unfiltered deal, just whatever. And I'll tell you, I watch, I really like the old man from Street Racing Garage, Bill Hoskins. <laughs> um, I like his little YouTube channel. He's a cool old dude. He does a lot of uh, just whatever. Shows himself in the dump truck, shows himself at the garage. Um, just kind of whatever he does. And I, I guess you call that like a, a vlog. <clears throat> Not real tech savvy if that's the technical term for it or or whatever but but I mean he, he does a good job and it's just he's just a regular everyday average Joe that just records what he does throughout the day and people want to see that I think it's cool um, I watch his channel I don't even watch TV YouTube it is for me all the time so <clears throat> I don't know maybe try to mimic some of that so we'll just record some of the crap i threw out today we'll see how it goes over some of you may like it some of you may not like i said to me it's boring it's just it's work it's my job um everybody has to work well not everybody but those of us that want things have to work so uh yeah i mean we'll just record some throughout the day and make a video and see what happens all right so to start our day off we've come over here to scott county autos we're picking up a buddy of mine we got to go to mike Lowes. another buddy of mine is having mike uh redo a set of heads for him that uh they're ls uh he got it hot because um, all they want to do is drive it. Uh, had a water leak, ten and a half years. Pay no attention to it. Got hot. Warped the heads. <laughs> no, um, he's just uh, doing a cam. Thought he'd have the heads redone. Uh, I volunteered to go get the heads for him. Uh, he's working. Can't go get them. I mean, he helps me out. I help him out. Whatever. No big deal. We're just sitting here jawing about horsepower to weight ratio. Yeah, most of that. <laughs> because some of us ain't got the money to build these 500 inch motors and they run 50s and 490s in a 3,000 pound car. So we have to cheat and cut everything in the car out to get it as light as we can make our little 700 horsepower comparable. Maybe 700. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe 700.
we have literally wore out two LS motors <laughs> and one big block Chevy talking about racing. And we've won every bit of the money that we've bet on each other. <laughs> but we made it. Uh, LS guru himself. Gotta go in here and see a man about a dog. Or maybe it's a man about a horse. What are you doing? Put the phone down. <sighs> I took it out and did final cleanup on it. And was getting ready to put it together. And I was like, what is that shit? Well, I ain't that a bitch. Man, you take it with you. I don't want it. Let me get a flashlight. It's going in the scrap pile. <laughs> here. Hmm. That might have worked back in the 60s, guys, but yeah. we don't do that shit now. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't help it. I was born this way. Me too. I can't, I can't change that. <laughs> uh, I could sit up there and talk to him all day. Yeah, he's just a good, easy-going guy to talk to, man. I could sit there and talk with him for hours and have before. He don't belittle you. He don't make you feel like a dumbass when you ask him a question. You know. Man, if his reputation gets much better, where's it gonna end? Yeah, no. He's got a hell of a thing going. Yeah, every time he builds these motors and more records are set, but as you say, it's monkey see, monkey do. They yeah. see loud motor, okay, I can hear it. But he, I mean, his, his product's worth the shit. So. Yeah, I'm no shit, right? I'm gonna say nothing he don't think he don't need. So. Yeah. got a jump crank laying around I can give him for another hundred piece. $125. I have several of them. Cranks. Man, as good as them rods looked, I was surprised. I just assumed the freaking mains would look good. Them rod journals look flawless besides one. One yeah. had a nick in it, but the other ones yeah. were like... I have a six liter you crank. You just scrub it across there and it was mint. Yeah. Well, it's just a trade-in deal. I mean, I'd say it. I have one. I got it for free so you can have it. My next motor won't have a stock crank, so don't tell my wife. You can't be doing this now, you're married. Yeah. YouTube's gonna pay for it. There you go. See? So when I make it when I get famous. He's uh <laughs> literally sit up there and talk to Mike all day all the different conversations you can have with him from from engines to racing to politics to just whatever I mean you can have any conversation with him you want such a down to earth guy to be such a, uh, a high profile guy if that makes any sense but yeah, I, I mean, I could waste I could waste all day up there, but when I do that, he don't get nothing done. I don't get nothing done. Makes it hard on both of us. <laughs> so, but and you think you'd live so close to someone like that that you know, and and to be customers and friends and, and whatever that you know you would think you guys could just go out and eat together. Yeah, well, we probably could if we wanted to, but but we just. Just don't do that. Kind of weird. <laughs> kind of like Garrett race cars. You know, he's right up the road. He built some immaculate cars. Um, outstanding work, but I mean, it, it's whatever. You know, it just it just don't don't happen like like that. And, and I get that all the time when I talk to people out of town or I'm racing somewhere or whatever. And it's you know, well, you live real close to Michael Lau. Yeah, I mean, I drive to his house, whatever, drive to his shop. I'm like, man, that's crazy. That's cool. You know, you ever been to his shop? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, same with Garrett or any of that. You know, do you, do you ever go to their shop? Yeah. It's normal for me, but the guys that don't live around here, it's, they, they just can't believe that. 
Same thing with Lambert's Cafe. We don't eat at Lambert's Cafe, and it's right in our backyard. I mean, every once in a while, we'll go down there, and we get a plate to go. Because <clears throat> we don't want to fight the crowd and all that jazz, but, I mean, that's a big deal to, to a lot of people. It's like, we got to go to Lambert's and eat. It's like, it's just a restaurant to us. So, you know, you have that, I guess, when you live right here with it all. So... Go see if they finished anything while I was gone. Let's see. Now we got this. Oh. Excuse me. Put a water pump on it. You cannot play fair with someone who's not playing fair. Democrats are not playing fair. I hope you enjoy everything. I am. It's the day in the life of. You're part of it. You are too. <laughs> Where's Slick at? At the bank. He ain't back yet? I, he better not be back. <laughs> God, this is so stupid. <laughs> I didn't want to get in between the two cars. This is fucking serious. Okay, so anyway, last night, Chris. Mike goes over to Kenny Shankles. He's taking that motor for that junior dragster over there. Well, he leaves like before five o'clock. So what are you like, doing? Whatever. Not you, you. So I go to town, blah, 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 come back. Well, nine o'clock rolls around. So I called him and I was like, so you stand out with Kenny or, or what are you doing? Yes, I was going to stay all night with Kenny. Yeah, yes. He has bunk beds, and he said I could have the top bunk. Well, and then he, Mike asked me, he's like, do we have food at home? Or I said, not already eat at Kenny's. <laughs> Let Kenny cook for you. Smoke somewhere else. What? What's Here. Yeah. No, it's, it'll have four because it's all-wheel drive. Huh? Yeah, don't tell me you didn't hot rod it. I did. Lying ass. Lying ass. Say it again. Big block what? Big block rule. <laughs> with, with what power at her? Come on. I'll just here. I'll just prop this up here. We'll leave it recording. Oh no! I just charged it. Quit cussing. You said free. So big block turbo. You're talking about BBCs? Yeah. Yes. We, we were. Eat, okay? yeah. yeah, we were. Please? Big block Chevy. Oh, draw me two wiggly worms. This is our waiter. After the wiggly worms. Wait, how much is a plate lunch, CG? $2. Two dollars. That's all right. Cheapest plate lunch around. Yes. What you got? A hamburger or meat. Oh my god. We all watching. What'd you say? Come on now, it's a day in the life of. You usually cut up and laugh and we poke fun at each other. Huh? Now I can't even get you to say nothing. Okay, just don't even act like it's here. I'll probably edit that out, just so you know. <laughs> I'll probably edit out the, the part where uh, the real price on the block. Huh? See, you paying no attention? Yeah. <sighs> so. I, I probably what? don't. I mean, I. I assume that you lied to me about how much it actually cost. I'm telling you. I was up at Mike's. Long story short. Like that. We got to talking about motors. I mean, it's a motor, an engine shop. So we talk about engines. Lo and behold, he had a box sitting there that I thought I really like to have that. My wife is really going to divorce me if I bring it home. 
So, so, just so I bought it, <laughs> bought it but it I left it there. <laughs> hey, thinking. didn't bring it home. Do what? So she couldn't take half of it. Right. Yeah, exactly. She won't know which one it is when she divorces me, so she won't get half of it. I tell you what, when I divorce you, ain't gonna be worried about that block. I got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> so I get to keep the block? You can have the block. Dang right. Chris didn't even know we had a junior dragster here. Did I walk right by that? You, you see it? Yeah, you did. You, you did. We're going to see if he can get off in it. <laughs> Made for a four foot five, 80 pound kid, but we're going to see if we can cram this six foot 220 guy in it. Come on, get in it. Slick, get off in it. Quit saying it like that. Get off in it, Slick. Jesus. You get in it. I can't. Hold the phone. Get out of the front of the guy with the camera. Well, hand it to me the right way. Hand it to you. I can't get in. We tried this already. If I get in it, Chris is going to push me around town. You got to put your feet further in there first. Chris, quit. Would you stop? <laughs> why? That's something you would do. I don't know why you get mad. You're gonna get stuck. That's all in. I got. That's all I got. You want me to push you down in no, there? No, I don't. I can't. I can't get out. I can't get in. This dash they've got made right there. If it wasn't in there, I could probably get in. Yeah, that's what's stopping me. That's, yeah. Not the fact that I'm overweight. And it's made for a small kid. Thing you've been in the wall, eh? It's the fastest thing you've seen. Huh? Huh? Chris, I've outran you. I've out I've outran you. I have a faster time slip than you. So yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I've outran him by eight tenths. Not even trying. Plus, I'm better looking. The longer I sit here, the more lally, lally, lally loopers come around. This is why I don't get nothing done. <laughs> so this is some of why I can't hardly get anything done throughout the day. I get a bunch of freeloaders around here. I want to do nothing but talk and stand around and take up your time. <laughs> no, I don't mind it at all. But it plays a big role on what can come in and go out in a day's time. Help when your office clerk is going to get eyelashes at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Probably doesn't help that you're paying for them either. Kiss my ass. <laughs> So, end of the day for us. Looks like he could go to sleep sitting over there. <laughs> so, it's the end of the day. And, uh, I mean, I didn't record everything I do in one day. Like I said, some of it's kind of boring. Uh, we get a lot of people want to come around and gawk and really do nothing but take up your time. So, we thought... Uh, we might work on the race car a little bit. We don't know. It's Friday. He's young. I'm dumb. You know the rest. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's probably going to be it for this video. Like I said, we just giving you a day in the life of. So uh, if you haven't, subscribe. Leave us a comment what you think. Tell us what you'd like to see more of or what you'd like to see less of or <clears throat> I don't care. Just tell me anything. Um, like the video. Hit the bell for the notifications. We will see you next time, guys. Thanks.